today, you need your student edition, pages 85 through 89, your student activities, pages 93 and 94, and your flipbook handout. In the last lesson, you learned about the solar system. According to the Bible, how did the solar system begin? Well, God created it. And what makes up the solar system? It is the sun and the objects that revolve around the sun. So today, you're going to find out how the Earth moves in the solar system. Right now, let's excavate our vocabulary. We have the word rotate and axis. Here is the word rotation. Day. Sunrise. One more, and that is sunset. You'll also be seeing this word today. Sphere. Right now, as you read, I want you to find out how a globe is a model of the Earth. So when you go outside to play in your backyard or a park, a playground, or a field, so what does the Earth look like from the ground? Well, it looks flat. And the Earth looks flat because only a small part of the Earth's surface can be seen from the ground. So astronauts can see the whole Earth from space. And what does the Earth look like from space? It looks like a round ball. Let's watch. Amazing. So the shape of the Earth is called a sphere. It's the shape of a ball. Now, one thing that's different from what you just saw is that the Earth tilts. What object is a model of the Earth? It's a globe. Look on page 85. Now, there are three ways that a globe is a great model of the Earth. First, it shows the land and the water on the Earth's surface. It also tilts like the Earth tilts, and it also moves or spins, and that models the way the Earth spins uh, in space. And this is a globe or a model of the Earth. And this is a picture of the Earth taken from space. Now it's time for Quick Check. What is a globe? A model of the Earth. In this next section, you'll be seeing this word, imaginary. As you read, I want you to find out how long it takes the Earth to make one rotation. So what is one way that the Earth moves in space? Well, it rotates. So what does rotate mean? Rotate means to spin or to turn. I want you to stand up right now, and I want you to slowly turn all the way around one time, but stay in the same spot. You have just rotated one time. What are some things that rotate? Well, we know the Earth rotates. A top can rotate. Uh, the tires of a bike rotate. And the wheels on a wagon rotate. The Earth rotates, and it rotates on its axis. So what is the axis? The axis is the, an imaginary line running through the center of the Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole. So this line or rod through the globe just shows the position of the globe, which models the position of the Earth on its axis. Now something very special happens as the Earth rotates. And what is that? Well, the Earth's rotation makes it so that each part of the Earth has daytime and nighttime. All right, I want you to notice the axis here in this little picture of the Earth. You can just see a very tiny line. 
Now remember that you can't, we can't see the real axis. It's just really an imaginary line, and it, but it just shows the tilt of the Earth. The axis goes through from the North Pole all the way down to the South Pole on the Earth. Now notice the arrows. What are they showing? They are showing what you did uh, just now. They are showing the direction that the Earth is rotating or spinning. Now, a basketball can spin in any direction, but a globe can only turn on its axis in one way. So the Earth moves like a globe. It doesn't wobble or move up and down. God made it to turn the same way all the time. So think about this. When does the sun shine? Do you ever think about the fact the sun shines all the time? So why don't we have daylight all the time since the sun shines all the time? Because only one side of the earth is getting the sun's light at a time. So what happens on the side of the earth that doesn't get the sun's light? Well, it's dark and it's having nighttime. What causes each part of the earth to get both daytime and nighttime? It's the earth's rotation. Look at page 86. Why is part of the earth light and the other part dark? We just said it. It is showing daytime and nighttime. We say the word day all the time. What does day mean? Day is the time that it takes the earth to rotate one time, one rotation of the earth on its axis. So what does the word rotation mean? Rotation is when the earth turns on its axis one time. So how many hours are there in one day? There are 24 hours in one day. Look at the bottom of page 87 and you see the section called Creation Corner. And it says God designed the earth to rotate. One side is warmed by the sun's light. The other side is cooled when it is in darkness. If the earth did not rotate, the lighted side would get too hot and the dark side would get too cool. God's wisdom allows people, planets, and animals to survive. The sun warms the earth. Why is it necessary for the earth to rotate? Some places would get too hot and too cold if the earth didn't rotate. And this is part of God's wise and wonderful design. People, plants, and animals can survive because the earth rotates. Now it's time for quick check. What imaginary lines does the earth rotate on? It's axis. I want you to look at pages 88 and 89, and you are going to be reading about sunrise and sunset. As you read, I want you to find out if the sun moves across the sky. If you've ever been up early in the morning, just as the daylight is starting, you might see some colors in the sky. The whole sky slowly changes from dark to light. And before you know it, the sun starts to come into view. This time of day is called sunrise. Sunrise is the time the sun first appears in the morning. So at what time of the day does the sun seem to climb higher in the sky? Well, it's in the morning. So right here you can see the sun is up higher in the sky. And then it gets to the highest point at noon. What happens in the afternoon? Well, the sun continues west across the sky and then it gets lower in the sky. What is sunset? Sunset is the time the sun begins to disappear in the evening. How does the sky look after sunset? Well, it's darker and night comes. Let me ask you this. Does the sun 
really move across the sky? No, it is the earth that is moving. So sunrise and sunset are caused by the earth's rotation. If the earth didn't rotate, there wouldn't be sunrise and sunset. The whole earth would either be in the dark or in the light all the time. So different parts of the earth would get too hot or too cold. We already talked about that. Plants wouldn't be able to grow where it's dark all the time. What does the word rise mean? Rise means to come up. The sunrise means that the sun comes up. And what does set mean? Set means to put down. So sunset means that the sun is put or goes down. So the sun rises from the east and it sets in the west. After the sun has set, when it's clear night, you can see stars and the moon. Now you should have a sunrise sunset handout. So this page, you are going to cut this page out. It's also got some numbers on the back. Now I want you to cut these pictures out and you can do this after the lesson is over, but don't cut this black bar off. Okay, you want to cut the pictures to be about the same size and then you are going to put the pictures in order according to the number on the back. Starting with the sky right before sunrise and ending with the sky right after sunset. Remember that we see the sun rise in the east and set in the west. So when you cut your pictures apart, you're going to put them together like this according to the number that you see on the back. Organize them, get them nice in order like that so the corners match, and then you can staple them or clip them together. Now, when you have all of this together, you can flip through the pages and you can see the sun move across the sky from east to west. So this is what it's gonna look like. You can flip through and your paper can, uh, if your paper's thinner, it might flip a little more quickly, but you can see that sun rising and then the sun is going to set. So from right before sunrise to sunset. Now, as it happens, it's going to look as if the sun is moving, but remember, the sun doesn't move. It is the earth that is moving. It's rotating. Now it's time for quick check. In what direction does the sun seem to travel? From east to west. Now I want you to look at your student activity pages 93 and 94. The top of the page is, says it is a study guide, so you're going to read each of these sections carefully, mark the correct answers, one through four, and then you're going to have this word bank that you will be able to use for numbers five through 10, and the directions say that one word is going to be used two times, so remember that. The next page says to write T if the statement is true, and if the statement is false, write the correction for the underlined words. That's 11 through 13. 14, you are going to circle two correct answers, and then there is a write about it section. And I want you to read this little story and this little part of news, and then answer down here. It says, write what the Bible says about how the solar system began. Explain why you believe the Bible and do not believe evolution. This would also be a good question to talk with an adult about. We are done for today. Here's your assignment. Complete your student activities, pages 93 and 94.